Time to get to work, fam. What is up, loud and proud crowd? Hopefully, you guys are doing absolutely fan freaking tastic. So, we are back in the shop with the Chevy 1500, the budget build Chevy. And we're going to be taking it up to Devin's place right now. And then, Devin is going to be helping us start the process of installing a lift kit on this truck. Yes, we are going to be jacking up the Chevy 1500 built. Stay tuned, guys. This is going to get good. Oh, yeah. And by the way, last eight days to enter to win this big black beauty right here. So if you haven't done so yet, you should probably enter the giveaway because you're running out of time. Get in while you can. Every $5, two entries to win. You guys can buy t-shirts, hats, hoodies. I ain't got no hat on. But anyways, hoodies, keychains, decals, lanyards, all kinds of stuff. Every $5, two automatic entries to win this truck. Let me just tell you this. Whether you keep the truck or you sell the truck and you pocket $80,000, this truck could literally change your life. Think about it. Five bucks for 80,000. I gotta say, this truck sounds good, but it does have a little bit of drone in the cab, which I expected. I mean, I did tell him to straight pipe and ditch all the stuff under there, but it is a little bit loud. Although, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be cool when it's done. We're gonna pull up here, and I wonder what he's gonna have to say about installing the kit on this truck. Usually, all the kits that we have done are pretty darn easy, but this one, I feel like with Chevy and being old, it's gonna have a few more complications, but we'll get his reaction in just a second here. Well, how's it going? <laughs> Howdy, partner. <laughs> Howdy, pilgrim. You ready to work on that blue lightning in there? <laughs> Dude, that thing is a, that's a rowdy racer. I tell him, I said, I don't really know why we named it blue lightning. There ain't really anything fast about it. So he did do the steering box on this. Yep, and the and steering shaft. The steering shaft. Yep. And apparently it doesn't have like three quarter turn of play anymore. It's tight, tight like a tiger. That's good. Apparently she's a, uh, She's gonna need to take a lot of power steering fluid. Yeah, that redhead's nice. You see it? Look at her. She's a beaut. Little focus in here. Yeah. Yep. And then this shaft and everything. So, with the original one, it was just like a square that uh, went over the spline, and it was like a ball joint that was in it. Oh, dude, it's back here. It, it's like it is shot. Like really bad. I remember you're like, like, look at you like turn the wheel. And you're like, are you turning it yet? I'm like, yeah, I'm turning it. Yeah, <laughs> like, she's, not she's gone. Your dad called me and said, hey, uh, I'm gonna need that steering box to send it back for a core. And I was like, oh yeah, I, 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 I figured. <laughs> yeah, that thing is trashed. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what I'm gonna be taking back home tonight. He was gonna do the dual steering stabilizer setup, but we kind of like the nasty red. Yeah, we need that there's just some Yeah, there's some co components that we still need yet. Which I kind of figured when I dropped it off, I kind of said in my video, I'm like, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this or not based on the other one too, but we'll see. But yeah, that we'll, bracket makes it so much nicer. And yeah, if I was to put them on the way like that setup is, it would start causing binding and because there's too much, there would be too much play in the way that setup would be. So you really wouldn't have the strength of a dual steering stabilizer. So we kind of like defeat the purpose of doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll get that done eventually here, but we just need the right parts. That's all with the first gen. That's all we were getting done was the steering box and the steering shaft. And hopefully that solves a problem and it's not so sketchy pulling uh, 20,000 pounds yeah. behind it going 70 miles an hour. Right. But Ed's like, dude, it feels like it's popping a wheelie with the front end because it's so, because it was so bad. It was horrible. I 
I showed him a video before and I showed him like the wheel bounced all the way back and forth almost. Yeah. And I the saw truck that. didn't it didn't go anywhere. Now it goes ever it goes yeah, now. <laughs> What'd you think about the part in there? Put about the wife says it can't buy parts. Oh yeah. That's pretty funny. <laughs> People were commenting on about it. I was laughing. I thought it was kind of funny. I'm like, oh, you know, that's every guy watching this is thinking, oh, like, yeah. oh my gosh. Well, she don't know won't hurt her though. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, already got stuff. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna show you another project here because I think there's some truck guys out there that might appreciate this. Oh, Devin, yeah. tell them what they're looking at. Uh, this is the 05 Pete long nose. You know, it. We bought it like uh, I would say seven years ago. And oh seriously? Yeah. I thought you'd had like you just got it. Oh no, no, no we've oh. had it. Like I, <laughs> it, it looked totally goofy from when we first got it, and then uh, this like couple of months ago, we're like, ah, let's just do it up cool, and we started putting a whole bunch of stuff on it, taking a whole bunch of stuff off, getting it painted. Um, it had longer tanks on it, like it had diamond plate steps on it back in the day, uh, big mufflers, um, like the. The uh, air breathers, they weren't like painted or anything. They're all anodized. Um, the mirror mounts and everything had painted. Got these off of a buddy. Uh, he took off his truck because he's going with a different setup. Uh, had them painted. Put all new lights on it. Put the chops on it and had them painted black. Put the new visor on it. Took the mirrors. They were turn signals. We bought this delete kit. Painted the back housing black and I moved the turn signals down to the back bumper. Put a 20 inch drop bumper on trying to bait we should paint the front or polish, we'll polish it. it i was gonna yeah. say paint or polish right because we want to get a whole different new grill but we want to get a new hood because when we got this the hood was messed up right here so we don't know what we're going to do about that yet spray paint of the frame for right now with some like heavy duty like paint for frames for like semis and stuff but we have a deck that literally is going to be flush with the frames on both sides and it's going to run from the cab all the way to the back of the truck and then we still had the fenders to put on it and everything and then my buddy his one of his caps broke so he stole this one I put this drop bumper on the rear and uh wired all the lights and turn signals and stuff it looks a lot different from even when i saw it for the first time in the shop i'm like what are you doing here like oh just working on a semi yeah and i'm thinking when did you get this like because you're talking about how you're doing all this stuff to yeah. it recently and i'm like oh yeah did you just pick it up or? no we've had it for Quite a few years. We picked it up pretty cheap. Only thing oh. reason we really picked up automatic. We got it so mom can drive it, but she just she doesn't drive it. So with this, yep, it's this, an automatic. Yes, it's an automatic. Are you serious? Yep. Yeah. The six inch kick out on, and then we drilled the holes for the lights and had my buddy tinted that window and tinted this side window right here. And I was gonna start doing the interior. But once we started looking it up, it got pretty salty. <laughs> so we're just gonna wait for the interior. We might. I want to do the whole interior red and I want to chop the seats down so they're like shoulder height. Yeah. I just told my boss today I'm actually going to be quitting there soon and I'm going to start driving truck for this full time. Does that mean no more working on the Loudon Pratt No, truck? no, I'll still, I'll still do that <laughs> stuff. Then we put these eight inch stacks on it. Yeah. Pretty cool. It gets down. It's loud. It's pretty cool. I saw, I thought it was funny because I started doing this and tearing it apart and then Greg A, I saw he had one and then he started doing it and I messaged him. I'm like, he didn't say nothing. I was like, oh, okay. Like, I was just trying to be friends and like, like hey man, I've been doing the same thing, but I've had my truck a little longer. We're actually going to look at another one tomorrow. Sweet. To build. My stepdad's like, oh, let's buy it. And I was like, why? He's like, I don't know. I want a truck to drive. I'm like, all right. <laughs> well, it's just more the barrier. <laughs> right, right, right. We're going to get a cattle trailer. We're going to get a dump trailer, flatbed, and a little boy. Just all of that little stuff is already over 10 grand. Yeah. And they're like, hey, I'm realize. sure the guys that are watching that work on semi stuff understand yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Look over there, looking all creepy like coming up from there. Here's the kit. Devin said these are the easiest to do. Oh, okay. should have this done in like two hours tops. No, but in all seriousness, um, 
I don't think he was necessarily thrilled to do this one. No. I'm like, so how much to do the Chevy? I looked at the parts online. I'm like, it's a pretty big pile. I won't say the price, but this is probably the most expensive one that he's paid to live. Yeah, I still think it's a good deal given the fact that it's so many more components. Really Have you not. done any of these 1500s like these? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they suck. What I'm really gonna do tonight before I start on it, we'll get it up and everything and we're gonna spray down the whole front so that everything's soaked because these bolts don't like coming out on these trucks at all. I imagine. <laughs> and so. I remember even the 08 was bad, remember? Yeah, it was pretty they, bad. You got lucky, you're like, oh, we got lucky, but yeah. even that was kind of like, oh yeah, not fun. But I think uh, if you have enough time, maybe we'll get the back end knocked out real quick. Oh my goodness, man. It's lifted. I was gonna it's say, it's, it's up there. So for anybody that didn't see the exhaust from the last video, it is just a white pipe. They literally just, I've already had fair muffler do stuff like this before. They just cut it off at the muffler, cat or whatever the heck you want to call it. The muffler. Wherever, wherever it starts. Yeah. But anyways, and then they just do that little piece in a white pipe and then just form the piping. I had them cut the cat out too. Oh yeah? Yeah, the catalytic converter is still in. Oh, it's still in there. Yeah. Okay. So they just did muffler back. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's right. plenty loud the you way do that, that is. that cat and it's gonna be really loud and awesome. We forgot the parts up there. <laughs> <laughs> like <So>. actually. <laughs> <laughs> really, right? Uh, let's just get a chair. It's not video, let me get this on video. Okay, it's going, it's going, it's going. Okay. So you know your U-bolts and everything, people yeah. don't really, they're like, oh man, they're thick and all this. Yeah, they're thick, this is what you see, okay? You see this thickness, about the same gauge as my finger, but what they don't see is over the time of rust, look how much they deteriorate. Like, they just go down to like a number two pencil. Holy crap. Oh yeah, and they just snap, you just saw them snap. They literally just snap to pieces. Yeah. It's just, it's crazy. Like, and then people are like, oh yeah, they always see these trucks with their axles twisted and everything. Well, you're supposed to change your U-bolts. That stuff stretches over time, you know, especially yeah. if you're hauling like big loads and stuff. But what do I know? Yeah. <laughs> Probably never done one of these before anyway, no, right? No, first time. <laughs> Ten minutes. For what? We got ten minutes until the wife says I have to be heading home. You think? I think so. Oh man, she's crusty, ain't That's she? Hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what fire does, Devin. <laughs> Ooh, fire! Ooh. In terms of the truck, guys, I'm not going to be finishing it tonight, obviously. Because, oh! <laughs> I've only been here like he's been working on it for like 15 minutes, but um, I got to leave because it's already like eight. And then uh, he's gonna be finishing this over the weekend because yeah. we gotta do some traveling and he's gonna get this done, but he's gotta try to work it in with everything else. So, harvest and all that. Yeah, so busy time of year, but yeah. you know, he's gonna squeeze it in. So, we're gonna see if uh, he can get this block put in and maybe the other side, but then other than that, it's pretty much all we're gonna be doing today. Yeah, we it's a uh, two wheel drive. We gotta put the blood gripplers on the back just to get through the snow this winter. <laughs> they look stupid. <laughs> what on earth? They're probably wondering what the heck they did to the truck, Devin. Well, see what happened was <laughs> we're trying to build a drag truck now. Okay. No, so, I think we're going for the right look. It's, no, I'm like, just it's like a I'm reverse just... Cali lean, you know? Exactly. Like everybody else is doing Cali leans, like back dragging. We're doing like we're doing Indiana leans, Indy leans, yeah. Indy leans. So everything's bowing down. 
No, but if you guys are wondering why it's so bouncy, there's no shocks from the back yet. Yeah. We, uh... It, it was funny film. looking, though. I mean, it, it was oh, cool. Yeah. I thought it was cool. <laughs> so if everybody's wondering if this truck was done, no, we're not done. we got to finish the lift on it. Still have wheels and tires to go on it. And a few other things. Reagan's going to do some custom interior stuff with it. Some kind of like cheap DIY interior stuff. So, yeah, that's what, that's the goal with this thing is just to try to keep it a budget build, keep it cheap, keep it simple, but make it something that a lot of guys can relate to as like a practical, fun little truck that they could build and drive themselves. Think about it. Your truck was this tall with stock tires, okay? And just by doing this back, it went from being my hip to being... And this thing sat pretty bit, level because the rear springs yeah. were pretty, they were pretty wore down. So, I mean, it, it, it's a pretty good distance still. I mean, from Not to mention to it's still in little 30 inch tires right now. There. Yeah. Well, everybody, we just got back from Devin's place and we got the first gen back and the steering is so much better hopefully guys enjoyed seeing the peter built truck that he's working on right now the thing looks pretty sick i wish i could have got some video of it like over a week ago when i saw it last because it has gone through a total transformation in a little bit of time since i've seen it last i mean it's been crazy but um anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know down in the comment section below how good on a scale of one to ten ten being like super sick one being like uh not impressed how cool do you think the Chevy build is gonna look when it's done? We've got some wheels sitting right here and some big meaty mud tires sitting right here too in the shop. This thing is going to look crazy. So thank you guys so much. Leave your comments down below. Do not forget last eight days to enter to win this truck right here behind me. Brand new 2019 Ram 3500 limited edition. It's got 35 inch nittos, 20 inch fuel dually wheels. The things stick out like crazy, tons of stance. And then um, if you go inside here, it's got all of the bells and whistles. The thing is just insane. Every $5 is two automatic entries to win this truck, and it could be yours. Do not forget that. Thank you guys so much. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.